Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and my new mixer came. No, it's not the commercial one. I'm still pondering that. But this is another nine and a half quart mixer. This is a DeBoer, I believe. I didn't get a cookly. We'll see how long this one will last. Anyway, I'm gonna make caramelized onion bread. Um, isn't that nice? We're also going to make some freezer meals. We're going to do some, I got burger in there I got to use up. So we're going to make some cheeseburger burritos. And we're going to do some um, Hawaiian chicken freezer meals for your crock pot. Now I've already done a video on this, but I'm going to do this just a little bit different. I'm going to do this with a little bit of um, whole wheat flour as well. So it'll be kind of happy. I'm going to put this out in my market stand. So we need two tablespoons of yeast. I'm so excited. I got my mixture. I'm back in business. And I got in here, I got two and a half cups of hot water. So it's full. Okay. Got that in there. What else do I need in here? I need a tablespoon of sugar. I'm only going to put about a half a tablespoon of sugar because I put some sugar in the onions that I'm caramelizing. So there we go. All right. We'll just give that a little mix. What? Coffee ready? Oh, you want coffee? Yep. I'm making a video. You gonna say hi to your friends? When you get in here, they ain't gonna be Howdy, friends. <laughs> they can't see you. I know it. Just come in. You get over there. They love you to pieces. They didn't get to see you all winter. Yeah, they did. Not much. In your last video. Hello, neighbors. <laughs> she comes for coffee and fresh cookies. Yep. Look at my new mixer. Oh, what have the other one? I burned it up. Remember I told you there was butter everywhere? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's all. We had a funeral for it. You <laughs> gave it a proper burial. Oh. Okay, so that's going to uh, the balloon. Me. And then I'm going to do the quarter cup of oil. I'm going to chop up these green onions. Because then that's all we're going to need. Green onions. We'll give those a, a quick chop. Go around this way and you can get your coffee going. Okay. It's a busy house, friends. I should have did a video last night. We fired up the pizza oven and we had a house full of people eating pizza. Didn't bite me at all. Well, it's not my fault you didn't smell it. <laughs> you you usually smell that pizza oven. That's right, yeah, and I was went, went, went through here too. I'm surprised you didn't see it. I, I, I made too, I was just too tired. I made eight eight no six pizzas and two um crazy breads. You know the cheesy bread. Yep. Yep. All right, I'm just going to cut this up. I got to mix these. I got to stir these around. I put a little sugar and salt in them, and it'll help them caramelize a little quicker. See how they get oh, there? Yeah. Oh, that bread is wonderful. You know what this bread is wonderful with? Burgers. What kind of bread you got? I'm making onion bread. And it's good to have it with burgers. Yeah. You know? Or onion buns. Good. You can make onion buns. I, I'm sure I could make jelly though. Yeah, I could no, it wouldn't be good for and jelly, but I bet it's good toasted. And those of you who make onion jelly, oh that'd be good. Never heard of it. Oh my neighbor makes it with Vidalia onions all the time. In fact she's gonna be bringing me some Vidalia onions because they're going to be coming in real soon. All right, that's set. Put that away. 
you're hiding in the corner. That's proofed. All right, so what we're gonna do, those, okay, we're good. Those gotta cool off a little bit before I put them in there. I can't put them in there that hot. Right. But we're gonna need eight cups of flour. So I'm gonna do three cups of wheat flour and then the rest of it. So I have a little bit of wheat bread. No. I want to put this oil in here first, otherwise I'm going to forget it. So I need a half, that's a third, I need a half cup. And I'm going to use olive oil. Hi, John. Hello. Yeah, good. You have milk and cookies with the kid? Oh, no. no. I just got back. Oh. I'm going to have coffee and a cookie when I get back. Half a cup of olive oil I'm putting in here. They're all gone. All the cookies are out on the market stand. Told you. I you can the have, you can go out and grab one. Ah. I'm going to put in one, two, three. I'm going to put five cups of the white flour in there. Two. All right. Okay, so I might need a little bit more of that flour. I'm not sure yet. Onions are cooling down. Perfect. Okay. Oh, salt. I, you don't want to forget that salt because it would be tasteless. A half a tablespoon of salt. No, I need that yeah, because we're doubling it. Yeah. Full tablespoon of salt. All right. We're going to let that mix. That's pretty quiet, really. We're just gonna let that mix real good and then I'll be able to put the, all the onions in there. Okay, friends. So now, oh, that's sticky, it's beautiful dough. So now that we got that all mixed in there, we're gonna add our onions to this. And then we're gonna let it knead nicely. I'm gonna let it knead for about mm, six, eight minutes. Now my pan's hot, but my onions aren't. Those will go right in there. This is wonderful bread. And I know I've done a video on it, but I want to make some more for my market stand. Put that right back there. We're going to close this down. And we're going to let that knead for about six to eight minutes. Okay, friends. This is all done kneading. All right, now I'm gonna need a little bit of flour down here. Because it's a real sticky dough. And it's supposed to be a sticky dough. There it is. Okay. Perfect. Oh, that's a beautiful dough. Now I'm not needing it, I'm just rolling it in a circle. Gorgeous, nice and soft and beautiful. I'm gonna put that right back in here and let it rise right in there. There. I can just 
just sit right there aside, put it on my stove, let that rise. That's going to take a couple hours. Okay, let's see. Okay, I got my stuff set out for my Hawaiian chicken. I just ran out of pineapple, so Mr. Wayne is going to get me some. Bless his heart. We'll write on these. Two. This Hawaiian chicken is wonderful. You just put it, dump it. It's a dump and go. Put it in your slow cooker and away you go. Serve it over rice. It's fabulous. All right. So we'll get this stuff set up. It's not going to be in your way. I want the one that's labeled. <laughs> okay. We got those set up. We got the onions. We got the peppers. We got some of the pineapple. We're going to need some soy sauce. I'm also going to need brown sugar. And I am going to cut up some of this chicken. I probably won't use it all, but I'll use quite a bit. Okay. We'll put that right over there. Okay. I got chicken here. 10 pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Beautiful. Okay, we're just going to cut this and I'm going to put some in each bag. Then we can have all that ready. Okay, there's one breast there. Now I might use more, but this is going to be it for now. These are huge. This is a half a breast. These are huge. That's why I probably am only going to need one in each one. That, that piece of breast probably weighs about two pounds. So what I'll do is I'll cut another one in thirds and I'll divide it between these. So I'll have a little over two pounds. Beautiful. Okay, that is it. 
Okay, I'm going to clean up my mess and we'll get back and put this together. Okay, friends. This is a nice amount. This is four chicken breasts between three meals. That's a lot of meat in there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put... Oh, we're not going to drain this pineapple either. We're going to put the whole thing right in there. Chunks. I got chunks and I got tidbits. Okay. Don't drain it. You want that juice in there. That's going to be the recycling. All right. That's nice. Okay, so now, you know what? I'm going to do this part. Now I'm going to put the um, veggies on top. Okay, we're going to do two tablespoons of brown sugar in each one. And you don't have to worry about mixing it up. You're going to put this in your slow cooker and you're going to mix it as, it as it cooks. So it's not going to hurt anything. And we're going to do two tablespoons of soy sauce in each one. There we go. That's all that calls for, sauce-wise. I'm going to put a nice big handful of onions in each one. And then I'm going to do some mixed colored peppers in here. About a good cup. Handful is a good cup. This one I got a little shy on. I'm give that one a little bit more. And this one. There we go. All right. We're good with that. And my onions and my peppers are still froze, so it's okay. All right. So now what we're going to do. Is we're going to close these up. And let up as much air as possible. You can mix it up if you want, but you don't have to. And I am going to lay them flat. And I'm going to lay them on a cookie sheet so that they don't, in case the seal breaks, it's not going to be a disaster all over my freezer. I am going to add salt and pepper to them, but I won't mess with that until um, the day I cook them, and if it's not thick enough for me, then I'll just use a little cornstarch slurry and thicken it up a little when it's done. But that's how easy it is to put these together, and these make a wonderful freezer meal, friends. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of mixing because a lot of that still froze. Oh, and see, and it's not sealed. Oh, it is 
much air out as you can. Get these in the freezer. Let me get this cleaned up for reset and I'll see what else we can put together with the chicken that I bought from my butcher. Okay, friends. That doubled in size. Well, more than doubled in size. Give me that. We are going to shape this and put it in our pans and let it rise again. This is beautiful, I'm telling you. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick this back over it and just let it sit on the counter and rise up. That's it. That's going to sit right over there. Right out of the way. That's how easy that was. Okay, friends. So, now that we got the bread done, it's, well, it's not baked. We got to bake it yet. We got the Hawaiian chicken all done. Now, we're going to work on our um, cheeseburger burritos. You're going to love these. These are good. We're going to cook this up. This is two pounds. I'll give you the recipe for a single batch of this and you can double, triple, quadruple it, whatever you want to do with it. But we're going to get this into the pan and get this cooking. And I know I'm not going to need, this is kind of greasy. It's not, it's got a little more oil in it than our local butcher. But we're going to cook that up in that little pan. We're going to use relish. We're going to use ketchup. We're going to use mustard. We're going to use cheese. And we're going to use our large wraps, our large flour tortillas. And that's what we're going to use for these. And this is going to be good because Mr. Wayne is going to have one for dinner. Because it's like 5 o'clock at night. It's dinner time. All right, friends. So all I am going to do is I'm going to cook this burger up until it's no longer pink. And then I'll be back and we'll put all this together. You can cook this burger. If you're going to make a lot of it, you can by all means cook it in your um, uh, instant pot. And have a whole bunch of burger and make a ton of these up for your freezer. There, you can see me better. I'm just doing a few of them. I'm not quite sure how many I get with just two pounds because... I usually make a whole bunch. But I'll see you when this is all cooked up and done, friends. Okay, friends, we got all our burger in there and it is all cooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our ketchup first. And I'm gonna use what's left of my ketchup in this bottle. Okay. And I'll fill the rest up with this ketchup. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. 
Now we're going to do a half a cup of mustard. I want to shake it. Actually, I'm going to do my dill relish first. Half a cup of that. Now my mustard. Okay. Now I'm gonna do just a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Okay, that's all it is. And we'll give this a good mix. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Your kids will love these, I'm telling you. My family loves them. And if you need more, if you want more ketchup or mustard or relish, if you want to use sweet relish, you want to put onions in it? You can do all that if you want. I'm just making it plain with just the uh, relish in here. Okay? Now, this is how we're going to do this. We're just going to take this and we're going to mix a nice, put a nice big bunch right in the middle. Okay, put a nice big handful of cheese, and that's how easy it is to make a cheeseburger burrito. You want Mr. Wayne to try them? He'll be trying one in just a minute. With these, I just take these just like this, nice, hot, beautiful. And I put it right in a Ziploc bag. These make a wonderful lunch for kids, for your husband to take to work, whatever. Roll it up and put it right in the bag. Mr. Wayne, you can try one? Yes. Okay, I'll make you one right now. Oh, I need a little bit more cheese in that. Okay. Okay, we'll let him try that one. Cut his in half. Oh, friends. So you can see how nice those turn out. Take a look, friends. Isn't that beautiful? Now you could put lettuce in there. You can put whatever you want in there. But I'm going to use these for the freezer, so I'm not going to add anything more to them. Isn't that nice? There you go, mister. See how you like that? Mm-hmm. That's good. That tastes like a cheeseburger, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Good. It's good fridge. <laughs> you go enjoy it. I got to finish these. All right. I'll make myself one.
I'm going to put onion on mine. We're just going to make nice thin cuts. Look at that. That's a nice red onion in there. You could put lettuce in there too if you want. But I love a burger with onions. So we're going to have onion. All right. And then I like to roll mine a little different. There we go. There we go. And there's mine with the onions in it. Beautiful. I'm going to go have my lunch or my dinner, and then we'll finish these up and get these in the freezer. And there's a couple more things with the chicken that I want to show you for a beautiful freezer meal. Okay, friends, our bread is going in 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay, friends, now I got two more beautiful freezer meals for you that are so easy to put together. We're going to do honey mustard chicken breast, which I absolutely love. I love that you bake it, and then once it gets, you know, pretty much done, then I broil it and give it a little bit of char. But with this, I'm going to cook this in my outdoor oven. So this is honey mustard chicken. I'm going to do two of them. Oh, it would be delightful out there. Okay, so I got two of these. I'm going to get these set up because this is just a walk in the park to put together. You're going to love this. Usually, I like making the honey mustard chicken thighs with the skin on, the bone in and skin on. I love it. Sometimes I just take the bone out, but I still do, I leave the skin on. And then we're going to do chicken tacos. We're going to do a chicken for chicken tacos that you can just put in your slow cooker. I'm just going to do that chicken taco meat. It's 424. I don't think I dated those, but I will. Chicken taco meat. 424. Okay, those go over yonder. All right, we're going to put these together. I need to grab my honey. Now, I'm going to do these with spicy mustard oh because that's just delightful you can see what i'm doing i've got room in my freezer so i can put together some more freezer meals for john and i okay and one of these breasts will well more than feed us and we would have leftovers so we're going to put one chicken breast in each one of these bags. These things are enormous. It's like a turkey breast. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. And that will marinate in here too as it's thawing out. It'll be wonderful. I'm going to do Oh, that's our bread, friends. We need to check our bread. Let me get my... Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? 
Okay. I am gonna put a little bit of butter on that. You can you can barely see what I'm doing. Let's move these over and you'll see what I'm doing now. I got my nice little brush here. I use this for my pizzas and stuff. But we're just gonna brush some butter on here. That'll be delightful. And little Miss Jewel is strolling through the kitchen saying hi to everyone. Yeah, we're going to cancel that. Those are just going to sit on the edge of the stove there and just, just cool, just to cool so that I can get them out of the pans. And we'll get back to this. Okay. suppose I could have had a different choice for her. Listen to her. Oh, she makes me nuts sometimes. But I sure do love her. I need to put just a little more in there. Okay. All right. We got that. I'm getting rid of that. Now we're going to do the honey. Oh, if I can open it. And we're going to do a quarter cup of honey. Beautiful. Now I can find my little... And this one will work just fine on there. Okay, here's the other one. All right, and there we go. Okay, that's good. All right, now we're going to do... We're going to do just a little pinch of red pepper flakes in here. And I mean just a pinch. And that's it. Just a little bit of heat. And we got the spicy mustard, so that's nice too. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Probably don't need a whole lot of pepper because we got that beautiful red pepper, but I'm gonna put a pinch of regular pepper and I'm gonna put salt in there. There we go, perfect. Now what we're gonna do with these, I got honey on my face or something. <laughs> we got it on the counter too. That can go in the bag. We're gonna let as much air out of here as we can. Okay? Now, we're just gonna take that and we're gonna coat that. Let chicken look at as much as we can. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, that's good. There's one. Beautiful. And we got this one. Okay, now, same thing. We're just going to mix this all together the best we can.
give that chicken a rub down. There, it's all coated. And that looks wonderful. And all the air is out of that, too. Beautiful. Those are ready for the freezer. The last one that we're going to do is our chicken tacos. And we love these. Now, you could wrap these up in a taco shell. Absolutely. A tortilla shell. I like to take and turn it into, like, nachos. I put it over, you know, um, tortilla chips. And with all the fixings on top, the lettuce, the you know, all that. The lettuce and tomatoes and onions and sour cream and guacamole, avocados, all of it. I love it all. Or you can do the same thing and put it in a taco shell. And this is for your crock pot, friends. Look at that thing. Ooh. We're going to put him in there because that one was bigger than this one. Okay, let's get rid of this. And this is real easy to do. i got to get my taco seasoning. Okay, friends. I've got my taco seasoning. I sell this like crazy. My seasonings in my market stand, I sell a lot of them. I'm going to put about three. It'd be about a tablespoon because there's a lot of meat in here. So, but you can, you can do that. You can season this according to your taste, okay? We're going to also do a little salt and pepper in here too. Beautiful. Okay. That's all there is to that one. <laughs> That's simple, friends. And then when you cook this, you cook this in your slow cooker, you just turn it on. You put about a quarter cup of water in with it. I'm not going to put a quarter cup of water in here. You could. Mm. You know what? I will, just to show you. I will. Otherwise, you could just add it when you throw it in your crock pot. So there's a quarter. And there's a quarter. Okay? All right. We're going to do the same thing. Get all the air out of this. And just mix it up. Get it all mixed up in that water. Beautiful. And then you know it'll also, it'll marinate when, when it's thawing out too. So that's gorgeous. That's how easy that is to put together. That's for the freezer. And then this one. And that's all I have for you today, friends. That's all I had to do today. But well, we got quite a bit done. You'll enjoy these. And I'm telling you, your family, your kids will love the cheeseburger burritos. All right. That smells wonderful, too. And there those are. Let me get this cleaned up, and I'll show you what all we did today. Well, okay, friends. My kitchen smells divine with this beautiful a caramelized onion bread. My goodness, you got to try it. And it freezes beautifully. Although mine will be going out in my market stand for sale. It smells wonderful. And you know what? It is wonderful with hamburgers. Anyway, we got two beautiful loaves of the caramelized onion bread. We've got two, well, more than two meals, but two packages of the honey mustard chicken, which is going to be just divine. We've got chicken taco meat that's just out of this world, I'm telling you. Your family will love that. We've got four of the cheeseburger burritos, which are beautiful for a lunch. And I, I'm telling you, my family loves them. Okay, we also got three beautiful, I mean, this will feed, this is probably four, four to five meals each. So there's probably, you know, 20, 
15 to 20 meals alone in these three packages of the Hawaiian chicken. And that stuff, friends, is wonderful. And you serve it over rice, it's delicious. Well, there you have it, friends. We are filling our freezer with these delicious freezer meals and the bread. You're going to love it. I'll put all the recipes in the description box below. You all have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen, friends. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.